and needed some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, make sure to head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and most reliable coins on the market right now. Head on over to Buy Madden Coins and use code PULA at checkout for 20% off your order. Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video guide. And today, I'm going to be going over my Team of the Week Week 10 predictions. Now, I have not done one of these videos all 10 weeks, but I've been asking you guys if I should start doing them. You guys did say that I should start doing them, so I'm going to start doing them. Now, making this list isn't the easiest thing because the way Madden's been doing it's very weird. So, at first, they were doing the most fantasy points, but then last week, they clearly didn't do that when they picked Brendan Scarlett. So, it's hard to predict an exact trend. I'm going to give you guys... Two players for each thing that I think are interchangeable that could get it. I think at least one of them will get it. I'm going to give you guys, and then some of them could also be pieces, and then I'm also going to give you guys set pieces on top of that. Now, I'm not giving you guys everyone because, obviously, the set pieces are hard to predict. Like, will it be the bum wide receiver on the Cleveland Browns, the third stringer that had 100 yards? That didn't happen, but, like, or will it be the stud receiver who had 95 yards and a touchdown? Like, it's, it gets very tough and very tricky. So, I'll give you guys a few guys that I think could really get them. Now, some of them are harder because they might have gotten a card already. So it, it gets really tough, and then some guys might be getting a card. So I got them in there just in case, but obviously things are set to change. So, guys, before we get into this video, make sure to go down below, hit that subscribe button, turn that notification bell, boys. Come join the family. I appreciate each and every one of you. You guys killed it with the Sunday Gang yesterday. So thank you guys for that. Comment Noti Gang today if you're ready here. Make sure to turn that notification bell so you can even join Noti Gang. Make sure to give this video a big thumbs up. You guys have been smashing the hell out of the like button. I greatly appreciate each and every one of you that do that. Make sure to smash the like button on this video too. And if you guys like this video, I'll do it more every week. So. I'm gonna start off with the set pieces, right? So for the set pieces, it was tough. Cause there's so many guys who have decent enough performances to definitely be justified for this position. But obviously not everyone's going to get one of these cards. So one guy that did specifically pretty well, I think for a, I think positional matters too. Like how they play for their position definitely matters for what card they get. Now Mark Andrews on the Baltimore Ravens definitely had a pretty good game. He's only an 82 overall team of the week tight end and he's having a pretty good season so he's definitely due for an upgrade and i don't see him as a promo guy so he i believe he had two touchdowns and like 56 yards which for a tight end is pretty good the ravens had a great day i don't think he'll get a top card i think he can get like an 84 maybe an 85 piece i think it's quite possible now obviously this could be entirely wrong guys there's so many so many good performances this week that's gonna be very tough to pinpoint exactly who should get a card Next is a guy that's honestly not that great of a cornerback, but seems to always end up on the highlight reel every single week. I don't know how. I don't know if they test him too much because he's not that great. But that is Marcus Peters. Now, Marcus Peters currently has an 89 overall flashback card. So for this to come true, he would have to get a defensive piece. This is why I'm just giving you guys a little heads up. Marcus Peters should get a card, but I don't think they'd go backwards, right? They wouldn't give him a worse card, which they have in years past. They've done stuff like that. We've criticized them. But I personally don't think he'll be getting a card unless he's a defensive hero he did have a pick six i'm pretty sure at one point in the game i saw the highlight now i, I think he should be at peace with the way he played but again this is what this is where it comes to a per point where i'm kind of confused on whether or not they'll give a card like that this is where they get, it gets kind of confusing and now another guy that played pretty pretty well that i'm kind of sad i didn't start in fantasy this week which i always start and i didn't this week and that's kyler murray now kyler murray another guy that's gotten slight upgrades this year he's a rookie premiere so i can see a People would be pretty excited with this if he does get an upgrade. Now, Kyler Murray had 324 passing yards, three passing touchdowns, three rushing attempts for 38 rushing yards. Now, at the moment, he only has an 84 team of the week. So, I'm thinking maybe this week they can give him like an 87 or 88, one of the higher team of the week pieces, so that we can be able to get a nice, better Kyler Murray. This Kyler Murray would probably be pretty good. Probably end up with like a 90 speed, which would be really, really awesome. As long as his passing finally gets into the 80s, we we'll would be more than happy about that. Now, they have been really stingy this year with team of the week pieces and specifically team of the week pieces that coincide with rookie premier pieces so if they don't give this it's understandable now again my first week no predictions obviously as i keep watching the trend i'll have a better understanding for how they always do this but i kind of do have an idea but they've been changing it so it makes it very hard to predict see like when you think like when aaron Rodgers got his limited time card he got that right after his kickoff card and it was the plus one and they had like the same stats so, like was anyone expecting that not really but did it happen yeah Next on the list is a wide receiver for the New York Giants that I actually, I'm a Giants fan, so I actually really like him. He had a phenomenal day, quite honestly, for a guy that you really wouldn't think. So, as you guys can see, he's having a pretty decent season, and he's a 67 overall. Now, for this season as a whole, he has a little bit over four, he's about 400 yards and five touchdowns, and that's come as of late. So, it's not like he played the whole season. A lot of that production's come in the last, like, five weeks, which goes to show you a lot of how he's really been playing. 
Now, yesterday, he had 121 yards and two touchdowns for a bum receiver that no one knew about, right? Not that he's a bum, but in everyone's eyes, that's what he is. So I think that could give him a pretty decent upgrade, at least like maybe an 82, an 81, maybe an 80, 79, some kind of team of the week set piece. Now, these are the guys that I'm pretty sure we'll get when these are the ones that were a little more common to me. Now, let's get up to the heroes. So for defensive heroes, this one was a little bit tougher because obviously you can't just look up defensive hero stats. You have to individually find players. So for me, you, I watch football on Sundays, so I'm able to get a pretty good idea of who has pretty good games. Now, the first guy, I'm not entirely sure what position he's under, so I'm going to have to hold up. That's going to be a little bit tougher. I don't know if he plays safety or cornerback in this game, because in real life he plays both. It's Minka Fitzpatrick, as you guys can obviously see at this point, but let's go see where he is. Maybe he plays strong safety or free safety. I know he plays both in real life. Does he not have a card? No, he has to have a card. Let's just spell his name wrong. There we go, Minka Fitzpatrick. So at the moment, his best card is an 84 overall team of the week set piece. Now, he's been playing phenomenal. They literally article saying that Minka Fitzpatrick changed the Steelers season. Like ever since he got traded, they've had a phenomenal defense. Guys, Minka Fitzpatrick had a great day. I believe he had two interceptions. I, I, guys, I could be a little off here. It's kind of it's not the easiest thing to find all the stats, but I believe he had like two interceptions. He had a great day as a whole. He played amazing, and he's like the rock of this defense. And when I was watching him, all I heard the whole time was Minka Fitzpatrick, Minka Fitzpatrick, Minka Fitzpatrick. I feel like he has a great chance to be it, especially since he only has an 84 with the way he's been playing. Younger guy. I think he could get it. Now, this would obviously be the defensive hero, which would end up being a above 90 overall card. I don't think they'll give him... I mean, they could also give him, like, the high 80s, but I think they'll give him the hero. I don't think it'll be a piece. But again, this could, remember this, though. I'm going to give you guys two defensive players. So if one doesn't get it, maybe the other could be a piece. That's why I left my pieces only four, because I feel like some of these guys are have to... I think the top guys I put have to be in there somewhere, so they'll probably be a piece. So... Next on the list is another guy that you guys probably know more commonly by his brother, but this guy has been killing it, probably been playing better than his brother as of late, especially since his brother's been hurt. Now, I don't remember if he's an outside linebacker right or a left outside linebacker, so we'll find out right about now. Is it really left? Oh, God. All right. So TJ Watt, he currently has his highest overall card being an 81. He's been playing great this year. He's had a bunch of great games. Since Minka Fitzpatrick came over, this defense has gelled together a lot better than you guys can probably even realize. TJ Watt has been playing great. I believe in yesterday's game, he had, two, he had two sacks, like three quarterback hits, a bunch of forced quarterback pressures. I think he had a takeaway. He had a great game. And that defense literally held the Rams to, I believe, zero scoring touchdowns, like little offensive touchdowns. They really held them back the whole time which is phenomenal because the Rams do have a lot of great pieces. They have a great defense. So you think they'd have a lot of times to score. TJ Watt had a great day. I think that it could be between Minka Fitzpatrick and TJ Watt. Now, knowing my luck, it's going to be some random bum that no one knows about, but it's all good. Next on the list, let's get over to the offense because this video is getting kind of long. I didn't realize that. Next on the list is a guy that, if you guys weren't watching yesterday, Kyler Murray and him were lighting up the other team. And they come away with the win. But him and Christian Kirk had some chemistry yesterday. Christian Kirk had a phenomenal day. For the Arizona Cardinals and I don't even if he doesn't get the offensive hero I believe he still could potentially get a set piece no matter what now Christian Kirk had 138 yards and three touchdowns I think that's like guaranteed he has to get something right 138 yards three touchdowns that's a lot of, that's a lot of touchdowns a lot of yards he will at minimum I think get an 80 a high 80 set piece and if not he'll get the offensive hero I don't think he'll get the LTD but he'll definitely be up there for offensive hero and now next see this is the one I was talking about where it's tough right so I think that this guy will be getting a Thanksgiving card guaranteed, but he could also potentially get a hero within the next with within this drop. See, I, don't, I honestly don't think it could be him, but with the way he played, he's definitely up there. Patrick Mahomes definitely had a day. He did great. They did lose, but he had 446 passing yards and three touchdowns. So obviously his highest card hasn't he hasn't gotten a card since about superstars, which was like two months ago. But I think he'll be getting a Thanksgiving card. So if they haven't planned for Thanksgiving, they will not be dropping him tomorrow. But if they don't have him plan for Thanksgiving, this will be the perfect time to drop him. He'll probably end up with like a 92 overall, 93 overall, which I think is too low. I'd rather wait for Thanksgiving anyways. Now, let's get to the LTDs, what you guys are all here for. So first off on the list, another guy that I think he definitely deserves it, but he recently he got his team of the week card a few weeks ago. Now, I think they should give it to him anyways. But again, if they haven't planned for another promo or something, they're not going to give it to him. Lamar Jackson. He currently has a... Let's see what his power-up's going for, actually. I'm kind of curious. 
still 140. He currently has a 90 overall team of the week card that goes for 320. His card is an insane quarterback in real life. He's going, he's going ham. Like it's, it's ridiculous. I think after his age, he places like top in almost every stat. Lamar Jackson yesterday had 223 passing yards, three passing touchdowns, 65 rushing yards, rushing touchdown, and one of them was like a 47 yard rushing touchdown where he spun out the defense and broke their ankles. Now, I think he could be up there for the LTD. The LTD would probably be like a 93 overall this week or 92. Guys, if they drop another card, another Lamar Jackson card will have like a 92 speed. He'll have above 93 accuracy short. He'll have above 93 on the run, above 90 play action, and probably mid-tier, mid, and deep where I could probably chem that up to a point where I need it to be. I'd be really hyped for that. Obviously, his power, his power could skyrocket beyond belief. Now, guys, last on the list, the guy that I think has a great, great chance at the LTD. It was between him and Kirk to put him up there, but I feel like this, I feel like I haven't really seen much of this guy either. And I can really see that. Derek Henry had a hell of a game yesterday for the Tennessee Titans. Guys, Derek Henry was a monster yesterday. And I honestly didn't really see it. I wasn't really watching too much when he was first when he was playing. But he had a great day. And honestly, I could see him getting the card. Now, it goes by fantasy points, obviously. That's what it seems to come down to. Now, in my league, he had a ton of fantasy points. But I guess in most leagues, he was probably... It depends on the league you play in, right? Whether you play in a PPR or standard. Derek Henry had a great day now. This is a guy that I think is interchangeable. In my personal opinion, Lamar Jackson should get the LTD and Derrick Henry should get the offensive piece. But I don't think Lamar will get it because I don't think he doesn't have the greatest chance to get it because they might not want to repeat his card. So in that case, it could be Derrick Henry. He had 188 yards, three, catch, uh, three reception yards, and two touchdowns. And one of them was like a 70 yarder. So close to 200 yards and two touchdowns. Now, Dalvin Cook had a similar quite game, but he didn't have the extra touchdown, which is why I didn't put him there. Obviously, guys, I think McCaffrey should have been up here like 10 times already this year. They've not given McCaffrey one team of the week, which I find quite ridiculous because he's been literally the best player in fantasy football. Hopefully, he gets cartoon, guys. I think they're saving McCaffrey for some crazy card. He needs to have a 300-yard game or something where they can just give him a card and call it, call it a day. But, guys, that is about it for the video. So, it's a recap for you guys. I think that Mark Andrews, Marcus Peters, Kyler Murray, Slayton, Minka Fitzpatrick, TJ Watt, Mahomes, Christian Kirk, Derrick Henry, and Lamar Jackson. They will be getting a card. Could, they could be flipped out of my order. They could be one of them in offensive here. One of them could be a set piece. Those are guys that I think are definitely up there. This was my first team of the week prediction, guys, so do not kill me. I hope you guys did enjoy. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button, turn on that noti bell, and come join the family, boys. I greatly appreciate each and every one of you. If you've made it this far, comment down below. Say what's up if you made it this far. Say you watched the whole thing. I appreciate each and every one of you. And also, give this video a big thumbs up. You guys have been smashing it. Let's get over 100 likes in every video from here on out. You guys have been doing a great job of that. I'm out. See you guys in the next video. Peace.